What's up, YouTube? It's here, it's here, it's here. The NASA 21st Century 2nd Edition G-Shock Collaboration. Let's check it out. Let's go. All right, guys, here it is. The DW 5600 NASA 21-1. That's the model number by any, uh, because you're wondering, this is the second collaboration with G-Shock NASA has came out with. This one was actually released um, April 12th um, of 2021, the pre-orders released, and they sold out pretty fast. And it was a lot of chaos because um, they sold out, and then recently, right before they actually shipped them out, they re-released them um, in small quantity, small batch was re-released released to the public. And it was a lot of cause for confusion. People who had ordered originally, initially, uh, received emails saying your payment didn't go through and update your payment information. And otherwise, you're going to cancel your order. People who ordered um, the second batch got them before the people who ordered the first batch. It was chaotic. Casio dropped the ball on this one. But here it is. It arrived. Actually, I was on vacation in Florida when this dropped. My internet connection was horrible. I was having trouble accessing the payment site. So I contacted my buddies like, hey, man, do me a solid. Order one for me before I go crazy. And he came through clutch. Thank you. You know who you are. I appreciate it, man. I wouldn't have this one otherwise if it wasn't for him. Now, this one was $140 retail price which is a bargain. This is a bargain. It's a great collaboration. Uh, the standard DW5600 to run about the same price. And this being a limited edition NASA collaboration, I think $140 is extremely fair. So I'll show you guys what we're working with here. Um, in case you didn't know, NASA stands for uh, National Aeronautic, Aer Aeronautics and Space Administration. So I'm going to do a little bit of talking about what's going on here. Uh, the box itself is pretty neat. It resembles uh, kind of a television or possibly a screen display because it looks like metal bolts around here. So possibly some kind of inter interface inside of a, um, I don't know, a shuttle or something that reads out information. So... That's what I think uh, this means. Now, on the box itself, you see here it has some um, data. It says STS-1. Um, STS stands for Space Transportation System, hence the shuttle. That's actually the shuttle. Uh, mission, first shuttle mission, shuttle system test flight, launch pad 394, launched April 12, 1981 at 7 a.m. with 3 seconds Eastern Time. Now, this is a little fun fact. This G-Shock collaboration launched <laughs> on April 12, 2021 at 7 a.m. with three seconds. So they literally launched this collaboration uh, 40 years after the initial launch of the Space Shuttle, which is pretty neat if you ask me. Um, this does commemorate the 40th anniversary, so that's why they did that matching the, um, the time of the launch. G-Shock on the side, I guess you have those metal-looking um pins there 1981 to 2021 on the box there 40 year club um anniversary uh 1981 that holds a special uh place in my heart <laughs> I won't say why uh g-shock on the back there here's the model number dw5600 nasa nasa 21 there is a 20th anniversary one not a 20th anniversary a 20th year release one uh, which is also pretty neat personally though i think this one is much better and i'll show you why module 3229 on the uh box there this is a 5600 hence the module number um open it up crack it open and i'll show you guys what we're working with pretty cool ah here we go okay on the top there you have the 40th anniversary of the first space shuttle launch, 1981-2021. April 12, 1981 was the actual um, launch of the Space Shuttle Columbia OV-102 is what they called it. Um, it uh, so this is the 40th anniversary of that launch, which is pretty cool. 
All right, on the pin, tin itself, you have this white tin with the black cap on there and then the white logo of, their, of the NASA shuttle. All right, then you have this little cool kind of a ghost pattern of the uh, United States, or not the United States, excuse me, the, uh, the world, uh, the continents all around there. Pretty cool. Here it says 1.074 miles, million miles traveled. Two days, six hours, 20 minutes, 53 seconds. I believe that's the length of the trip of the shuttle. Orbit altitude of 166 nautical miles. STS-1 landing site, Edwards Air Force Base, Edwards, California. Once again, STS stands for Space Transportation System. STS-1 launch site, Kennedy Space Center, Cape Canaveral, Florida. 36 orbits completed. So it's pretty cool. Kind of gives you kind of a um, historical, um, kind of a historical... Uh, of what happened with that space shuttle launch. STS-1, open it up. Inside here, you have your warranty card, standard. I've yet to see it in person, guys, so you're gonna be actually looking at it for the first time with me. Inside there, you have the 3229 module, which is common for the 5600 series watch. This is the 5600 square. Open this up and let's check this out. I'm excited to see what we're working with. All right, here's the uh, hand tag, DW5600 NASA, NASA 21, 3229 module right there, $140 USD. Um, there you, there's your barcode in case you're interested in searching for that one. Um, like I said, it's sold out um, on Cassius' website. It was available shortly for a short period of time after its release. Here is the watch itself. It's gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. I think they did great with the colorway. You have a white band and bezel. Excuse me, white, white bands with white um, display there. And then you have the black bezel, which is pretty cool because um, it's kind of contrasts the colorway right there. United States, America on the bands. Um, this is supposed to resemble the black part of the of the bands. It's supposed to resemble the, uh, the shuttle markings. So uh, the shuttle itself had some black markings, and I'll put pictures of it, but... Um, I think that's supposed to re resemble the the shuttle itself, and that's why it says United States because it's supposed to kind of remember or resemble the the shuttle itself. Okay. On the other side, you have the shuttle markings again with the U.S. USA flag. Um, for you guys who are in the military or also um space exploration, you know that a lot of the U.S. um government um aircrafts usually have the U.S. flag on them, so I think it's a nice touch. That they added the U.S. flag right there on the band keeper, um, kind of re reminds me of that kind of little accent there, a little additional, nice little touch. SCS one again means for the space transportation system. Um, one means for the first mission. Um, I don't know what mission we're on now. Maybe a hundred, almost maybe hundred and fifty or something like that. Space mission missions. Um, Columbia was the first of its kind. Um, in 1981, so hence the STS-1, the Space Transportation System, launched its first mission, um, which is pretty neat. I think it's a great historical event and one that needs to be commemorated, hence this um, cool collaboration. Uh, before we get into the backlight, I'm going to show you guys the display here. Uh, standard 5600, this one does not have a Bluetooth capability. It's nice and clean. It's got the white display there with the NASA, what they call the NASA worm logo. It looks like a worm pretty much. And that's why they designed it to look like a worm. All right. Um, the dates on here, you can see that it has a day of the week, the date window there, and also the time with the seconds on there. All right. Go to the modes, you have alarm, timer, stopwatch, and back to your home time. That's it, that's all, that's all you get. Nothing um, crazy about that. Um, you also have this nice black accent on the bottom there that also resembles the border there um, resembles the uh, the space shuttle itself, the design of it. Now, when I first saw this watch um, pictures, I thought that the bezel was metal. I thought it was uh, metal IP coated, and I think it will look amazing with that. So I might try to see if I have a metal one. I might swap it out to see how it will look um, without damaging the watch itself. On the back plate, it's got the, uh, once again, the shuttle on there. 1981, 2021, the Space Shuttle Columbia on the back there. Um, Ed, uh, 3229 module, DW5600VT. 
VT is a standard model module. So it's not that you pretty much use the uh, VT for a lot of collaborations. So you'll see that VT uh, model number on a lot of the collaboration. So it's nothing, it doesn't stand, it's not specific to this model or this collaboration. It's just the standard design or the standard module used for this watch. And they turn that into a collaboration. So that's what that means. Uh, this one is Japan, which is pretty cool. Um, not the quick release. You can see he's got the standard pins under for the bands. So it doesn't have the quick release, which is fine with me. Not a big issue. Nice clean white bands underneath. Uh, the problem with that is that they do turn white and they stain with time. So if you're aware, I'm not. Um, be, let that be a caution for you. It's got the black uh, uh, buckle there. Black buckle. All right, but it's pretty, uh, pretty clean, pretty clean design overall, aesthetically. I think it looks really nice. Um, let me show you guys the backlight. What we got going there, zoom in for you. And then I think it's the bottom right. There we go. Very nice design there. It's got the space shuttle right on the backlight. And it's cool because it doesn't affect the, you can, you can still see the time. It doesn't block it out. But you see the space shuttle and then 1981, 2021 on the backlight. There you go, right there. And it's the same design that's also featured on the back plate of the watch. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. And again, a special thanks to that special viewer, uh, my buddy who ordered this watch for me when I was unable to do so from Florida. I'm extremely happy to have it in my collection. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Please, please, please smash that like button. It takes you literally a second to do it, and it helps me tremendously. Um, and I apologize for the commercials and the, um, on, the, on, the, on the video, but that's the only way that I make income or kind of um, generate income for my channel and helps me fund my watches that I can share with you. Also, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification button if you are interested in future releases. I try to put out information on upcoming releases to get you the um, upper hand, the advantage, and beat those resellers. All right, so that way you can get a hold of these collaborations um, before they hit the market and before resellers um, tax you for them. All right, till next time, guys. This is Chicago. Holla at your boy. Oh, by the way. Here's a video of the promo to give you guys a good look at the Casio promo. After that, I'm out of here. I'm rocking my G-Shot, 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 I'm rocking my G-